Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are doing some Fusion Cup battles with against, who else? My good friend Trexler, and his team is going to be Heracross, Wishkesh, Shiftry, Alolan Sandslash, Alolan Marowak, and Charizard, and my team will be Probopass, Bronzong, Alteria, Poliwrath, Wishkesh, and Alolan Ninetales. So basically focusing on Alolan Ninetales for this video, it is back, it is returning for another cup. We saw it dominate the Ferocious Cup, it was pretty much on everybody's team. Nah, definitely on everybody's team. You saw it, it was really huge in the Ferocious Cup. I think it's pretty good for the Fusion Cup. It's not as dominant as it was in the Ferocious Cup, right? I mean, th there's a lot of really good counters to it, being a Lowland Sandslash, a Lowland Marowak, Bongzong, you know, so it definitely has a lot of counters, Probo Pass, so not as good. Um, as it was in the Ferocious Cup, but I think it's okay. I think it's pretty good. Um, so, you know, my opponent does have some pretty good counters to it. He has a Sandslash, the Mawak, the Charizard. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, Ninetales will do well against his Heracross and Shift Tree, of course. So, uh, as I said, just trying it out definitely was a lot of fun using. I do have Charm. Uh, Powder Snow is another option if you want to get to the fast moves, I guess, a little bit quicker. But either way, I do go ahead and bring in my Wish Cash. Getting off the Mud Bomb, we don't faint him so we're able to faint him down with mud shots uh pretty good position for me he is out of shields we actually get off another mud bomb against his sand slash i really didn't think we were going to but we do get it off against his alolan sand slash and then he brings in the shift tree totally fine we're gonna bring in that nine tails and you could just see the amount of damage that shift tree is taking now we could take any attack from shift tree he does go for the foul play we could have taken a leaf blade my question is i'm pretty sure we could have taken that hurricane as well he doesn't have hurricane on his but i'm pretty sure we could have taken a hurricane it would have done a lot but i'm more than confident we could have uh but anyway jumping into another game i think i played really well in these battles um you know, we did we did really well, so I do begin with my Ninetales, switching out because he does have a counter. I bring in my Polyrath, he charges up a little bit, and as you can see, I am going to go ahead and fire off the Dynamic Punch. I do not have Hydro Pump on my Polyrath, but he doesn't know that, so we are able to catch a shield. So we did well in that situation because we're able to, t to take a shield. I figured he wouldn't shield this time. You could see we're being completely walled. At least we took a shield out of it, so Polyrath got away with that. Because he didn't know I didn't have Hydro Pump. Although I did have it. I just deleted it for Ice Punch. Because I wanted to be able to hit like Altaria. Right. Um, be, be, because it's, it's big in this cup. So um, that's why I deleted it. But Hydro Pump is definitely good as well. Uh, let me know what, which one you prefer. Ice Punch or Hydro Pump in this ca in this uh, cup. But uh, anyway Wish Cash comes in. Uh, we are going to go ahead and take this attack. It is going to be a Bone Club. Um, honestly, I thought it might have been a Shadow Ball, but I still decided to take it. He shifts, to, uh, or he shifts out to Shift Tree. I'm gonna switch out immediately. I cannot take a Leaf Blade. He tries to catch my Wish Cash, but we didn't allow it to happen. And we're able to delete that Shift Tree immediately with Ninetales. So, way to go, Ninetales. I guess he wanted to show off Shift Tree, and I do think Shift Tree is pretty good, but Ninetales was not going to allow it to happen. Not in this, not in these battles, because Alola Ninetales. Just really good. I actually able to beat the Marowak, and then he brings in Sand Slash. So Sand Slash is definitely a good counter to Nine Tails, especially if you have Gyro Ball. It seems like he does not have Gyro Ball on his, but uh, Gyro Ball, if he do, obviously would be much better against the Alolan Nine Ninetales. But um, you know, we're still doing resistant damage to it because it's a Pot Steel type. So we do go ahead and bring in my Wish Cash, and I go straight for that Mud Bomb. Uh, just to try and get a lot of damage, he does shield it up, so at least we take the shield. And I do go ahead and shield this one, expecting the Ice Punch. Uh, it actually is a Bulldoze, I was expecting the Ice Punch. But uh, we're just going to charge up to a Mud Bomb and be able to knock out that Sand Slash. So it was another really good game. Uh, despite losing the lead, we're still able to pull it through. Uh, Wish Cash is a fantastic Pokemon for this cup. I know this video isn't exclusively about Wish Cash. It's more so about Alola Ninetales. But Wish Cash is amazing for this cup. It's good for the Timeless Cup. I think it's even better for this cup. I mean, that's how good it is. Uh, but anyway, we lead Polyrath in the next game. He leads Charizard. So we don't we don't have that uh, Hydro Pump. And I'm assuming at this point he knows I do not have the Hydro Pump because I didn't use it against his Alolan, Alolan Marowak. And uh, we're just going to go for the Ice Punch. It's still going to be doing a good amount of damage against the Charizard, right? It is neutral. We actually only got a grade, but it didn't matter because he shielded it. Switching into that Wish Cash, we do charge up energy. He hits us with a Mud 
bomb before we're able to switch out, but that's okay because we do take it, charging up more energy. I decided to fire off the dynamic punch, and this dynamic punch is going to be met with a shield, so that's fine, at least we take a shield, actually getting to another dynamic punch, so... I just want to see how much damage it would do against the Wish Cash, and it actually does a good amount, so I'm really liking the Mud Shot Polyrath. I was only able to get it since they brought it back. I never had it before, so I really like it. It charges up the move super fast. Uh, we have both of his shields, so we're good in that regard. We bring in the Wish Cash, and um, I do I shield this? I do shield it afraid of a Blizzard. It actually is a Mud Bomb. Probably didn't have to shield it, but again, I was afraid. I'll charge up a little bit extra for the Mud Bomb, and we're going to go ahead and go for it. It will knock out his Wish Cash because he is out of shield, so that's okay. Uh, as I said, I probably could have gotten away with not shielding that, but I, again, I was afraid uh, it was going to be a Blizzard. He's going to get me with a Dragon Claw. That's fine. I knew I could take Blast Bear and Dragon Claw. He brings in his Sand Slash. I was happy to see it. We're going to go for the Mud Bomb against his Alolan Sand Slash, and that will not knock it out. We're able to get to another one. I'm going to get off the other one. This will knock out the Alolan Sand Slash for sure. And there we go. Goodbye Sand Slash, and he's going to bring in his Charizard, and I'm just going to charge up for a Blizzard, because I knew I had a shield left. I could block it. I decided not to block it, actually. I could have, uh, but I decided not to, because I was feeling pretty confident because of what I had in the back, so I, I felt pretty good, even if I couldn't get the Blizzard off. But we're able to get off the blizzard and we're able to win. Um, I just didn't want him to like hit me with back-to-back -back charge moves with Charizard. That's why I decided not to block the first one. Uh, so, you know. But luckily we called it correctly anyway. And we do go ahead and win that. So the next game I lead with Probo Pass. He leads with his Shift Tree. So let's see what happens. We are going to be neutral to Shift Tree. So I'm going to switch out into my Ninetales immediately. He does get off his Leaf Blade. I let it go through. So there goes the Leaf Blade, doing a lot of damage. Uh, he actually switches, unfortunately, into the Alolan Marowak, so not really a good position. Perhaps I shouldn't have switched out the Provo Pass. I could have went for, like, Magnet Bombs, and we would have been okay, I think, but um, I didn't do that. So anyway, I bring in my Wish Cash, and he's going to go ahead and hit me with a Shadow Ball. Doing a lot of damage, not really in the, the greatest posi position, but at least we get off a Mud Bomb against his Mawak. Trying to knock it out, he will shield, so that's good as well. He gets off a charge move. I do not shield this, expecting the Bone Club. Really risking it. It is a Bone Club, so we do call that correctly, and we do get off a Mud Bomb, so we either want to knock out that Mawak, or we want to take the shield. So we do go ahead and knock out the Mawak, so I'll take it. I will take it, so let's see what decides to come in. It is going to be a shift tree, and uh, not really a good position, but he uses his energy against me. Maybe he wanted to use, like, his leaf blade to knock me out before I got to a blizzard. That makes sense, so we do bring in Probo Pass, and he is going to go ahead and go for his charge move. I don't even wait to see how much damage it does. I do go ahead and shield that one up. And uh, we do go for the Magnum Bomb. I'm trying to blow up his last shield, right? You know, I want to get rid of it. So uh, he does not shield, he lets his shift tree go down, and then he brings in his sand slash, and this is going to be tricky. So we do go ahead and go for the rock slide. I wasn't expecting the shield, because he probably figured he could take any attack, as he can, so that's why I went for the rock slide. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, I risk him, like, this is probably going to be a bluff, and it is ice punch. If it was a build those, we would have lost, but I was like, oh, that's definitely going to be a bluff. That's what I thought in my in my mind. I'm like, if I block it, it's an ice punch, he could get to a build those and beat me. So we do go for the Magnum Bomb, take his shield. I am going to go ahead and block this one now, and it's going to be another bluff, it's going to be another ice punch. But I knew I could get to the rock slide before he's able to get to the bulldoze, and we just pull this one off. Guys, I did not think I was going to win this at all. Uh, but, um, man, if I, if I had shielded that or original ice punch, we would have lost because he would have been able to build up to a bulldoze and knock me out. So, um, you know, we got lucky, a little bit lucky there, a little bit well played, I guess. But either way, we're going to lead with Polyrath against his Heracross. And we're going to charge up a little bit and switch into my Alolan Ninetales. He stays in a little bit long, uh, so we are able to do good damage to that Heracross. And we do go for the Psy Shock, trying to get whatever damage we can off against his Marowak. And he will go ahead and shield that one up. So, uh, hey, we're still doing decent damage. We took a shield and did over half to the Marowak, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, we do go ahead and bring in the Wish Cash, and he will get off a charge move. 
And I do decide to shield it, fearing the Shadow Ball. And it is the Shadow Ball, so we do call it correctly. We could have taken a Shadow Ball, but I shielded it anyway. Now, I was pretty sure this could have been a Shadow Ball as it is, so we take that Shadow Ball. So, unfortunately, we still take a Shadow Ball, but at least we blocked one. Going to go ahead and go for the Mud Bomb, and he will shield it up, so that's fine. At least we take both shields. He brings in Heracross, getting off his charge move against me. Now, it's going to be close combat. Now, you have to remember, close combat will lower his defense, so we could bring in Polyrath, go for this Ice Punch. Definitely going to be enough. I think it would have been enough anyway, but either way, we're able to knock out the, the Heracross, and we have a shield, so it's up to Polyrath. Can Polyrath pull it off? He brings in his Alolan Marowak, and let's see. I decide to let this go through. It's going to be a Bone Club, so luckily for us, uh, he used up his Shadow Balls earlier on. We actually hit him with the Ice Punch. I don't think this knocks it out. It doesn't so we're able to finish him off with a mud shot and now he brings in his wish cash so i'm like wow can we actually win this we're gonna go ahead and go for the dynamic punch and dynamic punch will not knock it out but we need to get to one more we're still up a shield we have a shield guys so i'm gonna go ahead and shield this one up and obviously it's not gonna do anything to us because we shielded it and we get to the dynamic punch and we actually win this one another game i thought i was gonna lose but we managed to pull it on through. So we do go ahead and win that. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you so much for checking out my latest video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. If you like this video, check out one of my other videos that you'll probably enjoy.